Today, I want to go over why I chose a home birth. Coming from a really high hospital in the Bay Area and working in other hospitals throughout California and seeing all sides of birth, C-sections, uh, epidurals, planned C-sections, anything you can think of, tra trauma, traumatic births, I've seen it all. I wanted to experience a home birth because I studied with Ina Mae Gaskin and I went to the farm in Tennessee. Ina Mae Gaskin is probably the most famous midwife in the in the world and something I had been going through is something very spiritual personally and I had the opportunity to go train with her and I took it and I I learned that there is another side of birth that's not fearful and it's not full of um interventions. It's not full of um, people trying to tell you what to do when you're in labor or a cold hospital floor or uh, the need to get an epidural or help while you're in labor because you're in so you're so scared and you're just completely overwhelmed by what's happening. And there's not that many people there to support you. So at the farm in Tennessee, I learned from these amazing midwives that have spent their entire lives helping women all over who fly in to give birth at the farm to have a natural and joyful and ecstatic birth. And their C-section rate was less than, I believe, 1% to 2%, and the average C-section rate in the hospital is 35%. Of course, if you have a home birth, you need to be very, very healthy. You need to have high coping skills. You need to have sort of planned out, you know, looked inside of yourself and say, am I capable of this? Am I ready? Am I, do I lack fear? Am I, you, am I ready to take this on? And you also need to be safe. So you need to be, are you, I mean, you have to be incredibly healthy. You can't, midwives won't take you. And you have to be prepared to do it naturally because there's no options when you're at home. You, you do it naturally and you, and you deal with it. Um, without the fear-based, you know, this, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. So when I decided to have, a, or to have two of home, babies at home, my my husband was surprised. My coworkers were in complete shock. They were telling me I would be in for a C-section, and that's the craziest thing I could do. But my personal experience, I had an amazing experience. The first one was incredibly painful, and it came much faster than I thought. But I got to be at home with my baby, and I recovered there. And then my second baby, I was able to be outside walking while in labor. And I had all the support I needed. I knew I needed women around uh, I want to be surrounded by just women. And I just had an amazing experience. I know this isn't for everyone. And I know that choosing this is, people would think it's absolutely crazy. But for me, it's what I needed and what I chose. And I'm really, really glad I did. In my book, Mystical Motherhood, I talk about midwifery. I talk about hospital births and how to heal from them because no one really taught about how to heal the perineum or the C-section after C-section properly, I felt like. I speak about um, choosing a midwife, choosing a hospital, how to choose a doula, how to prepare for your birth safely, and how to, so that you can create less fear for your experience being pregnant and bringing a child into this world consciously. So how are you going to, if you do choose a C-section, I teach you how to prepare for the surgery via prayer. Because no matter what birth you have, it's just most important that the baby comes out safe and that you feel comfortable and you feel aware of what's going on and that you are a part of the decision and you bring, you take your power back. And that's the most important, important part of bringing a child into the earth is that you feel safe, you have your power, and your baby is coming in, in in the way it's supposed to. Find out more online at mysticalmotherhood.com. I'd love to hear your birth story. I included many birth stories in my book, Mystical Motherhood, which is available on Amazon. Reach out to me with questions. Find us on Instagram, on Facebook, or you can subscribe.